Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are super well. Soz completely forgot to film an intro before I popped to the salon to get my hair done. So yeah, I was planning to do a voiceover anyway, so here I am. I went to Daniel Galvin and I'm getting my roots bleached and I thought I would take you along and show you the whole process. And actually I've bought some of my own hair dye along for them to also color my hair, which is gonna be a little bit weird because no one's actually colored my hair for years. But I thought, hey, let's give someone else the opportunity to get their hands on my hair. So first up was the roots. As you can see, my hairstylist started off with bleaching my roots. Um, as you can see, she started from the back and worked her way to the front. This is something that I completely did wrong when I did my own roots recently. I um, will actually pop a link below to when I bleached my own roots at home. I didn't apply the bleach thick enough and like proper lather it on. Um, so it dried out but as you can see she is really lathering it on and it's actually taking so well to my hair my roots yeah were lightening super quick um she put a bag over the front to help with the process and speed it up because it just you know adds heat underneath the cap and once it was processed we went to the sink and they rinsed the back because obviously the back was went on first and it was, and it was on longer so she set a timer so we're just rinsing off the back here i then went back to my chair and they left the front on for like another 20 minutes i think and then as you can see i'm back at the sink now they're taking off the cap and they're rinsing the bleach out so proper rinsing it all out and getting it all off and as you can see i've got a little bit of banding um, now that I think is still from the previous shadow root I did. It's just still lingering on my hair even though it was, it was semi-permanent. They also um, decided to try and get rid of some of the blue. So they actually used a mixture of hot water and bleach for this to try and get rid of some of the blue. So they're just pasting it on the ends and they also went in with a tiny, tiny little bit more bleach just to cover up those kind of brassy areas where that shadow root kind of banding was from the previous time I dyed my hair. So yeah, so this was just all done over the sink. And yeah, as you can see, it really, really did lift out that little bit of banding I had at the top and around the front of my hair. Then it was time for Olaplex. So they did Olaplex number one and two. Guys, you know I love Olaplex, highly recommend it. You can get it at home or you can get the treatment done in a salon. So obviously it's a great treatment to do after you've had your hair bleached. So this is what they're applying now. And obviously that was left on for, I think, five minutes and 10 minutes. And they just combed it through and made sure it was applied to my whole hair. This was then rinsed out and my hair was shampooed with a clarifying shampoo just to get as much of that excess blue hair dye out of my hair. Once that was done, it was dried and we went back to the chair and they blow dried it, ready to put some colour on. So we have three colours. We've got like a hot pink, we've got a red and we've got a deep purple. I thought this combination would be great to go over the bleached roots and the already blue ends. I obviously know that the colour is going to tweak a little bit because when you put sort of pinks and reds over blues, it will go a little bit purpley but it's all good and I really hope that this goes well and you will see that it does um so they applied the purple to my roots first and pretty much dragged it out across I'd say yeah I mean you can see that's kind of how much they did to cover the whole blonde kind of root area was where they applied the purple and they did that all over my hair they started at the back first and then they worked their way to the front. They used a foil as well just to help so that the purple didn't end up on the ends of my hair. Um, quite a clever idea. Actually, I do this at home sometimes just so, you know, if you are doing ombre hair looks, it's a good little tip so the ends of your hair don't go the colour of the root because obviously you want it to be a different colour. Then we went in with the red. Absolutely love this. So we're doing like a deep purple root into red. I've done something kind of similar before, um, but yeah, I feel like I did more purple before rather than like kind of purple roots. But this is really cool and it's going on really, really well. I cannot believe how vibrant the colors are. So pigmented, it's amazing. I'm so excited 
to like at the time I was so excited to see what it was actually going to come out like. Um, obviously I know what it's come out like and it's a good one, so keep watching. Um, but yeah, so we applied the red and that just went all over. And as you can see, we kind of dragged it down probably to about eye level. And then once that was all applied, we then went in with this pink. This hot pink is amazing. Obviously it's tweaked it a little bit because of the undertone of the blue left on my base colour. But it's amazing and literally just she just went all over and did the pink on the very, very ends. Probably sort of midway down to the very, very end of my hair. And yeah, she used a brush on her hands for this. Super easy to do. And that was it. This is the finished result. Left it on for about half an hour. And then we went to the sink to rinse. Obviously, you can see quite a lot of colour coming out. This happens a lot with super pigmented colours. Um, and then... This is the finished hair. How unreal. I absolutely love it. It's so vibrant. So I moved downstairs in Daniel Galvin to another hairdresser. So this time I was getting my hair blow dried and cut. She went through all of my split ends and cut them all, which is amazing. So all of my hair now is super healthy. Obviously, it's not all the same length, but it will be eventually. So yeah. So yeah, that was the hair transformation. Hope you enjoyed it. That's it guys, I really really hope you enjoyed watching my hair transformation, it was a good one, I'm not going to lie, like honestly I'm obsessed with this, so lush, I'm just, it's just gorgeous, it's so tonal, it's so shiny, it's amazing, I love it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my hair went through. Any questions, please leave them below. I will do my best at answering them. I, I really hope it was informative and I included everything and all the different products. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, you guys know I love dyeing my hair, so if you love these sorts of videos, expect more. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay safe, take care, and I will love you and leave you and see you very, very soon. Peace out.